Welcome and welcome back to Really Legal. I'm attorney Ethan Behrman. Donald Trump is just circling the drain today with these court happenings in both the AG Letitia James case and most importantly, DA Alvin Bragg's case in New York criminal court. I'll give you the good, the bad, and what's next. Let, let's start with AG Letitia James because this is really interesting. Yesterday, and you can check out the video here on the Really Legal playlist here on the Really American Network, I had a conversation with Allison Gill, known as Mueller, she wrote on social media. We were talking about the Trump bond and uh, all of the issues surrounding the, the Knight Insurance Company and, and its subsidiary and the bond and the, 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 the bond reissuance. I mean, it's just crazy, but it, it, it's not crazy because here's what came out of it. The AG's office today, AG Letitia James, and when I say t- today, Friday, April 19th, 2024, they actually filed a motion, memorandum of law in opposition to the joint motion of defendants and Knight Specialty Insurance Company to set aside the exception and justify the surety. Long and the short of it is this. Donald Trump's bond company, according to the AG, failed under the laws of the state of New York to justify their bond on a number of counts. But most importantly, as I read the entire, how many page document is this? 26 page filing, at least in Adobe PDF format, it's 26 pages. What I saw was this, a couple of key points that I wanted to share with you that I think is really interesting. They they failed to demonstrate that KSIC's bond is sufficiently collateralized with identifiable assets and that KSIC is financially sound enough to back the $175 million bond. But what really got me, and I think that a lot of people were talking about, and we talked about yesterday here as well, is specifically in this motion from the AG's office, they talked about the fact for this Schwab brokerage account that that Trump allegedly has signed an authority over to KSIC with two days notice, which is really fascinating. But but the point is, is this Schwab brokerage account has equities in it. They never provided evidence of what they are. And if they're stocks, even if they're index funds, they will fluctuate. So if you only put $175 million in there and the price is fluctuating depending on when the bond is going to be essentially cashed in should Trump lose, there has to be at least $175 million in liquid assets to pay when the bond is called, okay? And if it's equities that have a variable rate, which even though Trump allegedly promises to to fund if it goes below $175 million, that's garbage. That's not what a bond is. So just generally speaking, a bond, again, I've talked about this. That's why normally a bond company, if you need a $175 million cash bond, they need $175 million or more in cash or cash equivalent. And cash equivalent is not equities that have a variable value. And that's why most often either you have to hand over $175 million in cash to the bond company not a brokerage account, or you have to have something called an irrevocable line of credit, which is essentially a loan from the bank where the money is fully allocated in the amount of $175 million. So when the bond gets called, they can cash it in for the full amount. But this was just a single screenshot that shows the title of the account as WASMR bonds, but they don't provide complete account information. They never shared what's in it, what's behind it. KSIC also did the same thing with their own financial statements, single pages. So the AG actually filed today and said, hey, we want a decision on this bond. The only thing I'm gonna complain about with the AG, and I know why they did it, which is they said, your honor, if you grant this motion to say that bond is no good, the $175 million bond as proffered by KSIC, then they the then defendant Donald Trump gets seven more days to post another bond. I would have said, look, he knows we're challenging this. He should have been looking the whole time. Why does he get another seven days? 
The reason they did this is because realistically, the judge is going to give them seven more days anyway, as I talked about in yesterday's video. But let's get to the, I just circling the drain for Donald Trump. So that's bad enough for him. And I, I really think the AG puts together a very strong case. I, like I said, I read the entire document. But I think also importantly today, Donald Trump, the jury selection is complete. We are going to hear opening statements on Monday. Judge Mershon moved us through quickly. And it, he, he just run, he's running a tight ship right now, which is really bad for Donald Trump. But let's make it much worse. Donald Trump also had filed with the appeals court to stay the trial, meaning stop the trial, pause it, hit the pause button on the trial while we're appealing for a change of venue. Um, I don't think he's going to win the change of venue anyway. It was a long shot for him. But the appellate court said, denied. You don't get to hold off this trial that starts on Monday. Too bad, Donald Trump. I saw this reported by Katie Fang, I think right as it broke here, at 1.39 p.m. Pacific time on Friday, April the 19th. So that would have been right at the end of the business day in New York for the courts. That'd be 4.39 p.m. Eastern time. But here's where Trump is really circling the drain and possibly will sink his own case if this comes to be true. According to Katie Fang's reporting today, on his way out of court, Donald Trump was asked by the media if he will testify at his criminal trial and he answered yes. I just have to say, in this type of a case where Donald Trump's defense is likely not to work in his benefit, most criminal defense attorneys are going to tell you, I do not want you to testify Donald J. Trump. Because, look, we all know Trump is a well-known liar. The Washington Post documented it. We have so many known lies that he has shared. He's a known liar. Juries, by the way, are really overall pretty darn good at knowing which people are lying and which people are not when they're on the stand. They really do have a tendency to see through that and weigh it accordingly. So not only did Donald Trump say he's going to testify in his own defense at a criminal trial, which is just beyond, although we don't know that he will, because his I guarantee you his attorneys are like, absolutely not, you cannot. But here's the catch. If a defendant, a criminal defendant, by the way, wants to testify, their lawyers absolutely can tell them not to and that they think it's the worst idea on planet Earth. But the defendant has the right to testify if they so choose, regardless of what their attorneys are saying. So Donald Trump could overrule his attorneys, say, I'm going to get on the stand. I'm so smart. I'm going to tell them what's really going on here. I know better than anybody else. And he will absolutely, if not perjure himself, is my prediction, he would, he's going to say some really stupid stuff. He's going to contradict himself. He's going to contradict other people. He opens himself to the, to the prosecution going after him. And, you know, if you're looking for Donald Trump to go to jail, if he testifies, I believe he will absolutely help himself go to jail. I think this is the big news out of today is that as he's walking out of court, I will testify. Oh, my gosh. This guy is the biggest loser. He is going to lose. So for everybody that's been frustrated with the delays in justice, I, I think it's coming sooner than later. I, I just, if he takes the stand, I think he loses it for himself. What do you think? You think he's going to take the stand? And if so, does it sink his own case? Give me those comments below. You know how much I love them. Uh, smash that subscribe button. Please click the like button. And really, really importantly, in addition to subscribing, if you, if you like these videos, please share them with everybody you know and let them know to come watch Really Legal here on the Really American Network. I'm attorney Ethan Behrman. Talk to you next time. Thank you so much.